The theme of today's show is trying to figure out how to squeeze every red ounce of spending we can from this man-made piece of currency we refer to as the dollar bill. And as we have learned, the secret to combating the effects of inflation is not by cutting back on your spending, although that can certainly help. It's not by taking more risk with your 401k by blindly tossing in all this money into the stock market and hoping for the best. And the solution to inflation is not, of course, delivering pizzas at night. No, combating inflation begins with a mindset that one must accept the fact that the value of a dollar won't buy much anymore, never has, never will. That's because over the long term, no matter how much money the Fed decides to print, nor the politicians in Washington keep borrowing, the value of this dollar will go down over time and we will always have inflation, period. And of all the ways I deal with this natural phenomenon of a dollar not buying much anymore is not to stew and worry over what the cost of a gallon of gasoline might be in the future or how much I'll spend at the grocery, but rather I'll deal with the uncertainty of the future and money by turning to God and realizing one very important thing about this thing we call life, money, and the pursuit of happiness. I call it the live well, die broke philosophy of living. And it is something that was born out of working in the financial trenches for more than 38 years and watching the lives of more than 15,000 savers play out. It's a philosophy that is also born out of scripture and in reading and studying from some of the greatest people who ever walked the face of the earth. Take, for instance, Job, who had it all and, last, and lost it all. Here's his reaction to the whole mess that ensued and how to deal with it. In Job 1.21, he says, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Here's the reality, folks. You and I came into this world naked as a jaybird. We were born with no money, no food, no clothing, no nothing. And then one day, after this walk here on earth is over, we will die the same way as how we came. No need for money, no need for food, no need for clothing, no need for nothing the world has to offer. So how are we supposed to respond to such dire news of nakedness? Well, according to Job, he had lost it all and his response was very simple. He simply said, blessed be the name of the Lord. So what does blessed look like? Well, it looks like no matter what your circumstances might be, whether they are good or bad, whether you have more money than you know what to do with or not enough to even fill up the car's tank, assuming you agree with Job and acknowledge that you really can't take this stuff with you, why not turn to God and bless him? Which simply means to hold our God in reverence and honor by worshiping him. Well, how do we worship him? We just did by acknowledging our frailty, our limited time here on earth, and that he is in control of what we have and what we get to keep. So friend, you want to learn to stop worrying about the future and worrying about how much of this dollar is going to buy in the future? Stop. Instead, do this. Say what Job said. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's a live well, die broke attitude that will not only deal with the worries of the world, but remind you of who we are and why we're put here on earth in the first place. You got it? Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips and be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.